Hello everyone, we hope you're all doing beautifully well. It's early October 2020 and we're making a start on the four campaigns in DCS that we intend to run for this quarter of the year. We've got the Little Britain campaign, which is this one that we're starting on today. We've got the Valdavia campaign, which is on Sundays and is open to all. We've got the Iran campaign, which is going to be on Wednesdays. And a little later on, we're going to have the Six Day War campaign. Little Britain campaign, something a little bit fun. Obi. Take it away. As we've all discussed, it's a bit of a mashup, so it's um, no particular time frame, no particular era or anything like that. So we could use anything we want that's within DCS, within reason. Um, so if you go to the overview page, the situation is that we are the state of Little Britain, the majestic state of Little Britain, and we're planning a surprise attack on the neighbouring country of White Flag. White Flag. And this is uh, uh, to finally settle a long-standing dispute over which side of the road is the correct one to drive on. Mm -hmm. um, and we all know that is... The right. The left. The left. The right. The left right. side. To the right um, side. So the, the, attack plan, <clears throat> the attack plan, if we can call it that, calls for a swift and complete victory. As White Flag has a large and powerful ally, but it's not expected that help could arrive in time to prevent our complete victory. Both sides have an evenly matched with a mix of obsolete and useless weaponry. However, Little Britain believes the skill of its pilots will prevail. Mm -hmm. Overall mission for the campaign is complete victory to crush the left-hand drive heathens once and for all. Look down for an overview of today. Mm -hmm. <coughs> You'll see that we are all the fixed wing are based out of Manston. Um, so we'll be ferrying across to meet up with the helicopters who will be based on um, amphibious helicopter carriers 10 miles off the coast of White Flag. Um, you can see them just on that map, mm -hmm. they're very small light blue icons. Um, and they're just doing a regular cruise down the channel, um, so they won't attract any suspicion until we decide to attack. So you can see there the hold point is marked for us just to all hold there and get together ready to go in and then we'll go in at once. And that is approximate positions on there as well of uh, defensive AAA and things like that, but it's not uh, up to date, it's two days old. We can go to the briefing for more detail on targets if you want. Main points are scheduled operation uh, underwhelming, part of the Little Britain campaign is scheduled to start today at 0900. We had to push the time back a little bit. Um, so 0900 start now. Little Britain don't like operating too early in the morning before their team. No, we, we weren't ready. We were, mm -hmm. Everyone was still in bed. Mm -hmm. Um, and number two is believed that White Flag suspects we are planning something. So an unusual troop movements have been detected along the mm -hmm. coast. Quite surprisingly, moving towards their def defensive positions. We mm -hmm. will launch a hasty surprise attack as our helicopter carriers move through the channel on a scheduled journey. Mm -hmm. Point three, we will expect the enemy forces to react to our incursion when we close to within 10 nautical miles of their precious coast. Mm -hmm. It's imperative that we maintain the elements of surprise and hit them hard and fast. So. Then we'll move on to the point four. Helicopters, who are obviously much closer to the action, are to remain to the west of the amphibious assault ships, so closer to Little Britain, until the fixed wing flights arrive, so as not to alert the heathens. Mm -hmm. Five, due to the slapdash and knee-jerk planning for our attack, we will be attacking with the aircraft we have available, so that is um, why we've got the mix of aircraft we have. So we've got the World War II aircraft and... Um, the jet trainers. We have nothing else available at the moment. Uh, no TAMs. Be alert for friendly aircraft operating in the battle area, and also there will be friendly aircraft taking off from Manston before we do. Mm -hmm. So a point on that is if you, we will be back taxiing down the runway because we're using the runway that's. Um, if you want, you can back taxi while the um, other flights are moving. But if you just stay on the edge of the runway, the, the centre portion of that really massive runway is the actual runway, and the edges are taxiways. And then just no time for the enemy coast. Multiple large fixed AAA emplacements line the coast and inland, air inland areas, so be aware. Point on expected threats. Um, it's going to be heavy and light AAA, lots of it, and um, ground vehicles, things like that, shooting at us. Uh, no other expected threats. And the targets. So Alpha is five coastal bunkers, which we will look at at the target images shortly. The coastal artillery, they, that is crucial to the whole plan. Those five bunkers need to be destroyed. And the tasking for that is the KA-50s with mm -hmm. the KH-29 missiles will be able to destroy them. Cool. We don't have anything else in our inventory that can. Mm -hmm. And if, if we fail on that hurdle, then 
next week's going to be uh, fun. Target Bravo is Dunkirk Airfield. We want to uh, deny that airfield to the enemy and also prevent any possible cap flights taking off from there. So that's tasked to the C-101s to crater the runway. Again, we'll look at that in detail in target image. Charlie is a command and control post, which is near Grand Fort Felipe, which is just adjacent to the landing ground. Uh, we've located the sector command center, and we need to destroy that. There is also four underground fuel bunkers in that area that we do not want to destroy because we will need that fuel for further operations. So they are in slap bang in the middle of the command center. Try not to hit them. Delta, we know is a silkworm battery. We know the enemy have a silk silkworms. We don't know where that will be. So we've tasked the Hueys and the MIAs to patrol the coast uh, north and south between the invasion area and um, Dunkirk to keep an eye out for that because they would be a big threat to our helicopter carriers. So they need to be uh, engaged and destroyed if they're spotted. Echo is, this is for everybody then, once your primary targets have been destroyed, move on to um, close air support around the invasion area and Grand Fort Felipe, anything really, anything that's shooting back is a target. And we want to try and make the invasion as smooth as possible, so kill as much possible stuff as possible. And then uh, Foxtrot, it's the same thing again, cap. So the L39 and C101 are going to be primary cap which sounds a really weird thing to say mm. um because they are armed with cutting edge uh heat seeking missiles and mm. oh, um they will be the primary line of defense but obviously everything else as and when needed to perform the cap role and that's it other than the target images we can just have a, a look so again that's the most recent overview of the general defenses we've got. You can see they've got quite a layered defense system there. Um, so we want to stay around, concentrate on the invasion area. We don't want to be straying too far because um, we're just engaging pointless targets then. So image two is the landing zone. It's as close as we could get without alerting them, but you can just make out the five bunkers along the coast there um, in the red circles. They're the primary targets. Once they are destroyed, we have a flight of five C-130s that will perform, perform an airdrop over that area and deposit troops and light vehicles to hold the beachhead. Image three is the control center. Again, you can see that the, the landing ground is just off to the right of that image. So you can it's pretty prominent if you look for those um, piers coming out into the sea. You should be able to locate that sector command center. Mm -hmm. And it's associated vehicles, which we can't see, but will be there. Um, and you can see the location of the fuel tanks as well, so we want to try and avoid those being blown up. Mm -hmm. uh, for Dunkirk Airfield, same thing. Um, there is um, a helicopter base there as well, which we're assuming, they're not in that image, but they we're assuming that there will be some attack helicopters base there. So they are primary targets as well, because uh, they can ruin our day. And the runway, just... Uh, for the C-101s, it would be bombs down the length of the runway to try and prevent the cap taking off, if there is any there. And then the last image is just an overview of the, the ships. So you can see the helicopter carriers are moving along the coast. Once the attack starts, they will head in. Um, they've got coastal bombardment targets to do on their way to the landing ground. And then the other waypoints coming in is there is a fleet of um, LSTs inbound that will then also move in. They're about an hour out, so we need to uh, not rush, but we don't have time to spare if we want to make this work. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think that's it. Have no questions. Right, so we're dealing with Grand Fort Felipe and Dunkirk, so along that axis. Uh, you mentioned hostile possible cap. Do we know what airframes the uh, white flag are on? Well, we're... As I said at the start, we don't know what airframes they've got exactly because they're very secretive. Um relatively evenly matched um some some bad ones some good ones but pretty even mixed what we've got we would expect mm -hmm. um but they do have a uh, powerful ally but we don't expect any of their forces in this mission as it's a surprise don't like powerful allies okay questions boys send a uh, question for alpha i'm looking at the weight points from the uh ship carrier uh, so we could 
probably go to waypoint one and circle there, correct? Prior to the fixed wing coming, I would just suggest you stay um, pretty much north of waypoint one. So stay on the away, from, put the ships between you and the coast. You don't want to get within, you don't want to accidentally get within 10 miles of the coast because they're pretty keen on that 10 mile limit. They really, really, really like people not to be within 10 miles. Tacan uh, for the tankers. Yeah, the tankers, Tacan, yeah. <laughs> Good one. Where do I put my teapot again? <laughs> All right, so actual question. Uh, so we don't know what kind of airframes they're flying, but they're roughly the type that we have. Are we expecting them to have the same airframe types that we do? Negative. No, we we all make our own indigenous airframes, so they do not have the same ones as us. Copy that. Okay, in a similar vein, do we know what airframes the uh, the civilians are flying? Uh, the civilians... Uh, there are no civilian airframes. There's friendly aircraft, but they're not civilian aircraft. They're, they're friendly military aircraft. So we... Yeah, I get what you're saying now. Apologies. It's um, So you're looking out for C-130s. Um, there's helicopters, so there'll be UH-1 Blackhawks. And also... Assisting in our CAS role, there will be eight times A-20 um, fighter bombers. Uh, one more question. So for the uh, for the people that are west of the Atlantic, should we should we put on our best British accent for this? Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> oh, cheerio, right, right, cheerio. Good lord. I gotcha. Uh, I I think it would be better if you just don't talk. I do. Like <laughs> Let's look at today's... Roger. Not as good as my American accent. Group 1, Enfield, a.k.a. Hell's Hairdryers. Runway Denial and Combat Air Control. We've got the C-101s. Uh, Obi, Simon and Tanky. And Springfield, L-39s for CCC. What's that? Control and communication. That's what I said. Strike and cap. And we've got the Riddler. We've got Bean. We've got Bear. We've got Atomic. Good planes, those 39s. Uzi 1, cast cap, P47, jugs, uh, cover, ruby, domagu, and bull. Uzi 2 is P50, uh, so that's the dash 40, sorry. Uh, P51D dash 30s is grump on cast cap. Excuse me, colt, cap, cast as Spitfires, Exile Adventura, dodge 1 empty, dodge 2, we've got jug dash 30s. Right, remember, dash 30s. Right, uh, RC, cap, skill, and dev. So we don't have rockets, so annoying. Uh, dodge 3, P51D, dash 2, 5, has seen a mic. On to the uh, rotaries. Ford 1 uh, is chopsticks and Danny Hueys. Ford 2, black sharks, Kelso, Muhi, Red, and Kingston. Chevy 1, uh, Starscream in MI8. Chevy 2, Gazelle M and the Mistral, Brink, uh, Sea Donkey, and Unexpected. Send tactics. So just a quick overview, just to come back to the P-47s, I actually mm -hmm. uh, emptied your, oh, we mm. haven't got rockets thing, so there are eight D-40s as well. Good, so I'm if you want to take 40s, you can do. And you just put yourself out of the wrong one. Mm. So the, the general gist of what's going to happen, and then you can make up your tactics, is... The A-20s will take off and they will be orbiting where we're going to orbit. So they will wait for us to arrive because they'll take off before us. And they're definitely going to be the um, C-101s there. Um, so the helicopters, as I said, wait to the west or the northwest of their ship until the fixed wing all is in place. And then probably the best tactic would be for everyone to split off all at once and go for their specific targets. Um, we want the C-101s to be hitting Dunkirk as the um, KA-50s are starting to take out the bunkers. And then I would suggest the KA-50s, who are our primary and only precision strike aircraft, rearm if they need to, and then start searching for targets, helping people, because they're the only ones. We're very big on helicopters in Little Britain. It's the only thing mm -hmm. that's got any kind of sight or anything. Mm -hmm. um, and start, well, actually, the Gazelle has as well. Um, start picking out targets if they see stuff, trying to call the fixed wing onto it and things like that. Beautiful. Uh, and I would suggest the cap focuses around Dunkirk first, because that's where the nearest airbase is. Um, all the other airbases are inland, so once that's dealt with, we know the only cap threat is going to be coming from inland. 
we did a mission a few, couple of weeks ago and the helicopters were sending marking smokes out and it was really effective. Do we have that option today or not? Do we could you the, it's up to the helicopters how they do it? Obviously, the Hueys and the MI8s have got the primary mission initially of looking for the silkworm. Mm -hmm. um, if they find and destroy that, then they could roll onto um, smoking targets and uh, attacking targets further inland around the area. Mm -hmm. um, and mission will be complete once the uh, airdrop's done. We'll have to just stay on station for probably another 10 or 15 minutes to make sure there's nothing engaging them. Um, and if they're down and safe on the ground, then we can RTB.
Yeah, we did three. Oh, okay. Well, I've made a pause on that. Apologies. Okay, guys. Small, a small error with the mission. Uh, we're going to take off now and scramble everyone for themselves. Apologise, valued viewers. Roger. We've had a minor problem, and we're going to take off now. Yeah, let's just get the arrow. All ships about to break loose. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Shit, there's a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy. Somewhere. Put your faith in God, valued humans. Let's go. Roger, tell them. We'll be there as soon as we can. Copy that. Bob. Are you up, RC? Yep. I'm never going to find you in this hodgepodge. Did you turn left or right? Sorry. What heading are we meant to go on? 160, I think. Lost. GCI confirmed the heading we're supposed to go on again. G to be wet, Cap. Your heading will be roughly one, two, three. Thank you. Are you on one, two, three? Uh, I'll see. I'm gonna have to try and find you somewhere. I've got a red and green light under my wing. Oh, I can't see anyone. I've managed to get on my own somehow. <laughs> I am about one, three, zero right now. What do you say, one, six, zero? He said one, two, three for us. So oh, one, two, three. Okay. So much for the big formation, god damn it. Just me. Check 
off your right way. What am I looking for? Uh, right wing low, you have friendlies. Oh, hello. Yes, I'm gonna go chase him. Hey boys, where do you guys come from? I believe that's RC. Watch out. Not anymore, I got my boys! I got my boys! Is that going to get his freaking gear out? It's a Dyson head right. My friendly is RC, the low ones are uh, some jets. I'll see I'm below you with three times hair dryers. Can you see us? Uh, looking. Uh, uh, You're below me? Yep. I'm pretty low. Gotta go avoid the radar and stuff. Bit of a misfire. Bit of a misfire, boys. I see a jet on my right. I know we're coming. It's a lot faster than him. We're faster than these stupid little jets, look, it's awesome. Thunderbolt! Thunderbolt! Oh yeah, you're right, below me. I directly look up. Are you using 243 or uh, 251? Shoot, sir. Just look up so you can see my marker lights. Oh, don't warn me or anything. That's fine. Douchey McDouche douche. This is kind of cool. On course heading will be one two four. Copy. I've joined up with some hair dryers. The light of the hair dryers' uh, primary task is cap. Roger. Oh, cut right in front of me there, boys. You see that? Okay, I can see smokestacks on the right. Silkworms are firing on the fleet. Silkworms are firing on the fleet. Sugar. You see that big smokestack on the coast? Whoops. Oh, there's our boats. Uh, I found our LSTs. Hello, boys. Are you with DC 101s? Yeah, I'm just following them for a bit of protection until we get nearer our target. Copy, I'm right behind you. Pop your right. Roger. Oh, that's our I'm ship. I think that might be our ship burning. I 
I'm outpacing these hair dryers easy. Not even on wet. Ha ha ha! You suck, donkey! Okay, nearly the coast RC, get ready for boom boom. And all bang bang. Yep, right behind you. Oh, kitty, yep. Yeah. My hands hit the water. Yeah, that was weird, I don't know what that was. Must be a guns test. Okay. He was still alive in my group. Roger, I think I'm a bit behind you though. Roger, I'll search you for time. Okay, found the targets. I've got the command and control center. Jesus, the triple A's mad. I've got to go. A different way. Triple A is sick. Yeah, that's our task, I think. Yeah, I see the lot this second off. We're gonna have to come in from inland because the triple A is fierce. Roger, this is Kingston be advised. Our transport amphibious uh, um, ships are being attacked by Oh my missiles. god! Oh run, Cap run! Copy that. The AAA is so fierce, I've just had to run away. I've never seen anything like it. Do you want to go for the airfield instead? Yes. 
Going for Dunkirk instead. I'm never, yeah, I won't be able to get close to that thing. You got some holes in your wings. What a surprise! Speed hose! Right. Okay, looking for Dunkirk. I can see the eight kilo pads at Dunkirk. Tally, running in! Did the face. I've got my eyes out, stop. Okay, and I can just test the AAA. It's a heavy caliber tennis balls I'm struggling with. Okay, you see a troop of four green firing AAA. If we can come in from a different angle to that. Okay, highest hostile helicopters taking off. MI eights. Cap running into a tank. Like there was a bomb hit at the runway. Missed on my screen, but okay. Roger, I'm going for the helos. Fucking shooting me. It's with the running. Oh shit, what a flak. This is triple down there. Mad flak. Just diving in now. Oh, it's too, it's too much flak. And I'm too slow, and I'm too big. And everything is not suited to this! The helos took off from there. I'm looking for them without, uh, starting with the AAA. They're in the air behind you. Looking. Yeah, I'll see him, see him. See, uh, one of us see the uh, call flight's priority at Dunkirk is the runway. I'm going after the MI-8 because it's going to knacker us. I mean, MI-24. Okay, baby, some kind of girlfriend in Vietnam.
He's attacking our KF-50s, look. Must kill him. At all costs. And stole your big winged son of a... Come on, let me at him. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Coupling out. Are those them? Are those them? My twenty fours for me up. Yeah, they're all together. God oh, damn it. I've lost them, they are low. They're, uh, you're co out with a couple of them. Off to your 3 o'clock. Oh, I see him, yeah. So a little higher, actually. Higher. Yeah, got it. I'm going up higher. Might be out of AAA as well. Uh -huh. What happened to you? I hit the water. Ooh. I'm trying to turn and get my rockets ready. And Come on, you big old double wasp. Come on, double wasp. You can do Got it. Got one right at your one o'clock there. Yeah, tell you. God damn it. I can't, I, I can't actually get up there with them. Ah, come on. Coming out radio check 127. Sons of bitches. At least I'm above the flag now. Come on, you big lug. We can get up there. You guys need help taking out that flag cap? I'm actually attacking helicopters and I'm fine, they're, they can't, they're not playing with me. Roger. Above the flak now, so okay, babies. Let's play fair here. Doing good things. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Nice. Push back. They're not fighting back. I like it. Oh, they're just flying. My kind of dogfight this is. <laughs> Those eyes are not friendly, correct? 
correct. They're going to the command and control centre, which is really heavily armed, so just be a little bit careful. Okay, baby. Start the shoot time. Agreed. Roger, just watch out because we've got AAA below this is heavy tennis balls. One more. Oh, nice. Don's the Visager. Last all yours, RC. Got to get him before he gets to the command centre because we've got nailed. Roger, yeah, I'm on him. Reminder to all flights that the priority is the ground strike. Our friendly aircraft are currently 14 miles from feet drop. Okay. Oh, yeah, drop yeah. Groups. Heading back to Dunkirk now to see how the AAA situation is. Stay high, go low, you'll die. Running on a Dunkirk now. Oh, someone just got hit in the face right above the runway. Look at that. What's our priority to attack, do you reckon? Uh, they said the ground target to the priority. Roger, is that triple A so heavy? Oh, damn it. Cap, uh, medic says Dunkirk airfield is still fully operational, so perhaps we should buzz out a few times. Okay, well, we're going to take the AAA down first, so pick the weakest units and try not to get too close, I guess. Shooting me. Oh shit! Yeah, told you. I just took a, I just took a fucking eighty-eight. Yeah. Oh damn it. We need KF-50s to soften this up. Oh, there's a fucking hawk with a missile. Whoa, that's worrying. Is uh, there a place uh, where we can go for repairs without flying back over the channel, or...? No, I'm very unlikely. Well, all of this is white flag territory, so I'm gonna go ahead and say no.
Target identified. Right, I've lost about half my plane at this point, so I'm gonna try to land back at base and come back. I cannot go near that. If I go that. If I go near that, I'm dead. Immediately. What do I do here, RC? I can't get near Dunkirk and I can't get near the command centre. Embarrassing for us, because <laughs> every everyone else runs in like a something. everyone else runs like a in like a fucking three year old and we're all dead. Just rockets. Them. Yeah, the rocket at the, the airport had uh, sidewinders. Ah. Look at that AAA coming in. Is uh, there a place we can go for repairs without flying back over the channel or? Well, all of this is white flag territory, so I'm gonna go ahead and see What the fuck just hit? They have a fucking hawk! At the top of the AAA, is there any weak points? Can they not fire directly up or something? Yeah, but the, there's so much out there that even the ones you're right over, there's others that will get you from the side. I'll have another look at the control center. Jesus, an 88 bullet, an 88 bullet just went right past my face, about two centimeters in front of me. Saw the bullet. 
Tapio, the final friendly aircraft remaining over white flag territory. Aha! Silkworms found! Running in! BDA? Not a goddamn radar. God damn it. There's the radar. Last mission line. Well, stuff's still happening out to sea. I can't see what, but something's slow my FPS. Wow, look at that. I think that's the ships out there firing at the... Uh Enemy aircraft. It's a Zuzi base. Shit. Silk one radar down. Cap here, the only little Brit left alive. Yikes. Better represent, boys. Better re Ooh, nothing happened. I see a missile! Well, I just stole my... Jesus Christ. I just stole my plane and he crashed because I'm a douche. It's heavy, it's really heavy. It's not as embarrassing as mine, but... Yep. Oh, I agree, I'll say. On that, we agree. None of these launchers have got missiles. I don't think they're any different targets. They're going to head inland. Back off. Now oh, there's some relevant targets, damn it. Okay, I found some um, Stalin's organs. Shit! Nothing happened. How far are you going to shoot at me from, you douchebags? Mr. Half Track? You should be a nine half track. It's a tracker! I will avenge Little Britain.
your nose around you big heavy son of a bitch Sitting there taking these guys apart. Nothing to nothing they can do. Find me my next target, I'll see. You. I mean, you douche. Two dudes. These are blatantly controlled by humans. Look at that sporadic fire. Uncontrolled and sporadic. but annoyingly hard to beat. I wonder if they can shoot directly up. I bet they can't. Hey, baby. Two large ships are getting hit with 41s. That'd be fun. Worry. Worry too much about them, I'll see. What you're not worrying about is gravity! Can you shoot me down, you son of a bitch? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Fuck's sake. Okay, I'm getting out of there. Uh, where am I going next? I'm going to go for the command and control center. Wish me luck. I'm going to try going in real low. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Tally! Watch this for flying. Fuck off firing at me, douchebags.
Shaq! Look at that, boys! It was the only way. Okay, valued humans, if that's what you really are. Sometimes I don't know if that's what you really are, but hold. Uh, let's see what happened. Wow, that was over pretty quickly. Uh, I guess the distances are fairly small. Uh, group by group, I guess. To see, uh, well, first of all, to say to the valued viewers, this was supposed to be organised, perfectly organised, take off in lovely formation, fly over with a 30-man formation. Obviously it didn't work out for reasons, but these things happen. So, Game Master, maybe tell us roughly what happened and what was achieved, and then we'll go group by group. Okay, so obviously there was... Um, we, we lost the elements of surprise, shall we say, right at the start, because... Um, some I-16 drivers taking off when they probably shouldn't have been. They were out for a little pleasure, pleasure cruise when they should have waited to be triggered, but they didn't. Um, so they started messing the helicopters up early on. Um, well, we then just scrambled and went over. The There is there was bombs put onto Dunkirk runway. Um, two, I think, of the five bunkers were taken out. And I don't know if there's any damage at all been done to the... Um, Command center. I don't think I just has. put my bloody face into it, Obi. I've blown it up. I just did um, literally did that for you. Well, I didn't. Uh, well, it's still Christ. showing on the. Uh, we'll call that killed. I've literally right. put my thunderbolt it's through the through it. Right, perfect. Uh, F10's lying, so mm. the command center's down. Um, the Hercules. They they did the airdrop onto the beachhead, but because we got painted by then, uh, the troops were destroyed. But we still got five LSTs or four now heading in. So if they manage to get in, uh, we might have a little foothold for next week. Well, Jack. God, well done for the um, Mistral's shooting down uh, sticks, silkworms. That's pretty skillful. Uh, right, uh, first group. I don't know who you are, so send yourself and go. That's me again in the C101s. So we just scrambled, headed over, um, feet dry. I was just doing the pop-up to dive down onto Dunkirk and got my wing blown off by a Bofors, so I lawn darted. Uh, Simon continued, got bombs onto the, the runway area, and Tanky, I will have to pass to him because we were not in radio contact because I couldn't figure out how to have two radios on the go in the uh, C-101. Tanky doesn't want to talk today. Tanky's have to go. Yeah, well, I don't know what he got up to, but I would like to assume that he got some bombs on the runway. Modra. Very good. And that was I just, it. I just I killed another gun, if that helps. Yeah, that will help a lot. If you can kill all the guns, then we can, the ships will make it to shore. Kill all of them, please. Uh, I shot down by a hawk. Oh, there was hawks. How about that? How about that, boys? Right, next group. Yeah. Talk with your mouths, please. Riddle. Come on, Riddle. We trust in you. Riddell. That's a bit friendly. Fire up and bean. We like that. What? Yes, yeah, right, missed. Oh, it's not here. <laughs> Come on, someone from Riddle's. Uh, okay. Anybody? We uh, took off with the scramble, um, and we then attempted to bomb the command center, but it's well hard without a CCIP picker. Yeah. Sorry, my throat's going. Someone who's not dying? It was a bit of a CF, to be honest. Roger. It was really hard. I couldn't get near any of the bases. The reason I survived because I realised that it's uh, suicide going into those that AAA. So I just stood on the outskirts um, and so off to the end. But uh, next group, send. Uh, I guess that's uh, our flight. I think we had some radio issues because couldn't hear anybody talking pretty much the whole time. Um, so we got pretty separated from the beginning. And then I joined up with your flight cap, took out a uh, bunker, some guys on the ground, and behind, and then got hit with a missile by a hawk. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Next uh, group. I 
guess that'd be the Singleton Uzi 2 in the P51. Uh, I tried to join up with Hasina and Mike Mann, um, but that just didn't work out in my favor. Um, so, tried taking off twice and crashed. Uh, Ooh. But, nobody, but nobody heard that. No. Uh, anyway, finally took off successfully. Uh, got to the target area and started assessing the situation. Kind of headed towards our, uh, our amphibious assault because there was a couple of Heinz that looked like they were taking them out. So, went in there, finished off two of these... Uh, to these hinds and then just immediately exploded and looked to see what happened and apparently the hawks brought sidewinders to <laughs> i get some baby damn i wish i had a dog fight with a hawk that would be awesome i see the bombers made it yeah. the 130s and the a20s which is pretty cool yeah yeah so if the a20s obviously somebody i'm not going to mention any names was blocking the runway slightly at the Ooh, start so. embarrassment <laughs> <laughs> uh, um they should have gone before us mm. because they are their task was flak suppression, which they're excellent at. Um, so obviously, if we were all there at the same time, we would have had a better time. But obviously, typical little Britain style, mm -hmm. nothing goes to plan. That's mm -hmm. why our ships drove into each other Ooh. randomly. <laughs> um, we just panicked, basically. <laughs> so us, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, next group. Take your time. Don't worry, I don't have to rush. Uh, I don't think either of them are here. Um, took off, so headed towards the target, basically went in well and fast, did a pull up, uh, dived in on the bomb center, dropped bombs on it, the bombs failed to explode, so mm -hmm. if they didn't explode then, Cap's face definitely exploded the bombs. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Uh, down. Watch out, next group. Next group. Can't see the sheep. I have no idea who oh, that is. Oh, good lord, why is it so hard? Ford 1, Chopsticks Danny. Ah, well, I don't think they're here anymore, but basically, their ships crashed together, sank, and then they couldn't spawn anymore. <laughs> so they rage quit. Uh, there's, a, there's a beautiful picture of it in the media file if you want to go see it. I've... Just imagine, Literally. can you imagine if D Day. If the Grim Reapers were involved with D-Day, the ships would have smashed. Germany would have won. The bomb. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Jeez. I actually, I actually looked out the left hand side of my hip, and I'm like, that ship's getting awfully close. Then I looked again. That's getting closer. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I literally couldn't have scripted it any better. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted it to be a bit of a ball, <laughs> but I couldn't have actually scripted that. Mm -hmm. I've tested it a hundred times, and not once have they crashed mm -hmm. into each other. Uh, next group. Nice group. Kelso, Mookie, Reddo, Kingston. Okay, so Kelso quit within the first five minutes mm. due to some technical issues, which I'm not sure what they were. Um, Red got shot down. I don't know what happened to Mookie. Um, and basically, I'm the last helicopter standing. I killed the turret. Um, then we all got slaughtered by everything that you lot missed. Um, end of discussion. Questions? Mm. Mm. Next group. I already talked, so it would be the the gazelles. Are we done my group? No. I mean, unless you covered everybody for yours. No, I didn't. I'll see our group. Send. Oh, Jesus. Do I have to do everything? Uh, I flew into the water. I'll see flew into the water. <laughs> and Cap flew into the command. And I flew into the command center. End. Next group. Yeah, I guess the gazelles, uh, well, I took off, I hovered right by the ship, and got shot down immediately. And uh, Solo could respond, respond, and then I shot by Heinz. So that's the end of that story. <laughs> Those Heinz were pretty good, weren't they? Jeez. Next group, if there's any left. Right, that's it. Uh, okay, guys, at least we've got the command center. I can kind of see the way this campaign's going to go, and I like it. Right, uh, any final thoughts before I go and try and do something, yo? Alright, All right. go and do your cardio and I'll see you guys on Wednesday.